hi everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video i am going to discuss about the most common fracture that we should know for the exam so the first fracture that we have so this is the first fracture which involves the fracture of middle malleolus and fracture of lateral malleolus so it involves the both middle and lateral malleolus so this is bimalleolar fracture by malleolar fracture so this is pots fracture so this is pots fracture if it involves the along with lateral medial and also involves the posterior malleolus then it is trimalleolar fracture and which is known as cotton's fractures cotton's fracture okay the next fracture that we should know that this fracture which in all the condyles of condyles of femur condyles of femur in coronal plane in coronal plane so this fracture is hofas fracture hofas fracture this fracture is hofas fracture okay the next fracture that we should know that this is sacrum which has h shaped fracture so this is h shaped fracture h shaped fracture so this fracture is jumpers fracture jumpers so this is jumpers fracture so h shaped fracture of sac sacrum is jumpers fracture the next fracture is so this is the tibia so there is fracture of lateral condyle so there is fracture of lateral condyle lateral tibial condyle so this fracture is bumpers so this fracture is bumpers fracture okay so this fracture is bumpers fracture which involves the lateral condyle of tibia then so this is the next fracture this fracture involves the proximal one third of ulna so the proximal one third of ulna shaft so this fracture is montegia montegia's fracture so montegia's fracture okay and if it involves the distal one third that is the distal one third so that is the junction of middle and distal one third so this fracture is known as galliagi fracture galliagi's fracture also known as reverse montegia fracture also known as reverse montegia fracture so the next fracture that we should know so this bone is humerus so this is humerus so we have the fracture of distal one third so this is distal one third and this is upper two third so this fracture is holstein levis fracture holstein holstein levis fracture so this fracture is holstein levis fracture so the next fracture that we should know and this is the one of the most important fracture distal end of radius and which is extra articular so distal end of radius fracture which is extra articular with ventral displacement so ventral displacement so if there is ventral displacement then fracture is smith fracture smith fracture and if there is dorsal displacement if there is dorsal displacement then the fracture is colley's fracture so the next fracture is which is the distal end of radius fracture which is intra articular but in this fracture the distal radio scaphoid joint radio scaphoid joint is normal so radio scaphoid joint is normal then this fracture is choffers choffers fracture okay then next fracture is so this fracture is fifth metacarpal fracture so this fifth metacarpal fracture is boxers fracture boxers fracture okay so the boxer fracture is fifth metacarpal fracture then next fracture so in which you see the first 
metacarpal fracture so the base of first metacarpal fracture is so this fracture is bennett's so this is bennett's fracture and next fracture is if there is first metacarpal fracture which is comminuted so the comminuted fracture of first metacarpal is ronaldo rolando fractures rolando fracture then we must know about the aviator fracture so aviator fracture is fracture neck of talus fracture neck of talus okay then next fracture is clay solar so clay solar is avulsion fracture avulsion fracture of c7 spinous process avulsion fracture of c7 spinous process so that's all for this video so these fractures you should know. Thank you.